So I knew this guy that hit 30 years old, and as soon as he hit 30 years old, he just felt like he had to get married. And he was significantly older than me at the time. I had this habit of hanging out with dudes that are a lot older than me, you know, because I could learn from them. But this particular thing that he did is not a lesson that I would definitely want to pass on to other people or take on myself. So boom, he hits 30, and then he decides, I got to commit to something. I got to do something. I'm getting old. I need to lock something down. We go out to the club, and he meets this girl, and they get it in, like, you know, one night stand type stuff. And, you know, they did it in a, in an interesting way. You know what I'm saying? Not the traditional methods, if you feel what I'm saying. You know, anyways, it was crazy. They went to a whole different level on that first night. And a couple months later, they were engaged and he got married to her. And I, to me, it was crazy because it was a one night stand. You know, and she let him do things that typically a girl would not let you do ever, much less on the first night. And they got married. I don't know. Maybe they had a connection or something like that. Or it could be the simple fact that he just wanted to get married. And the first thing that he felt any type of connection with, he just decided he was going to wife up. That's story number one. Story number two is I know another guy that decided to get married. He felt as if this chick that he was getting married to, who was significantly older than him, was the one. And he was actually suffering from some trauma because his mom wasn't really a great woman. And because he never really had that motherly presence in his life, he decided to marry a woman that I was around the same age as his mom. And they had no business really getting married at the time because they didn't have the financial situation to do so. They got married and shortly after they moved houses. I thought they moved houses because, you know, they just were switching up cribs. But it turns out that they moved houses because they got evicted from their crib. Why did they get evicted from their crib? Because they spent so much money on the wedding that they actually couldn't pay their rent anymore and they got evicted from their crib and had to find a new spot. Why did I share these two stories with you? Well, if you know anything about marriage, the average divorce rate is about 50%. And a lot of the reasons why people get married is because they just feel as if it is time, especially women. Usually when women hit that 27-ish mark, they start to get on demon time when it comes to getting married. And usually if you're in a relationship with a woman around this age, she's going to start to put you on the clock. She's going to start to mention it and bring it up, especially if her friends are doing it. When the women's friends are getting married, that's when they start to get real tight about it and they start to get real insecure. So they really want to push towards that marriage thing. It's crazy because marriage is supposed to be a, something, a ceremony that you perform because... You love the person and you want to be with them forever. However, nowadays, I find a lot of people are getting married because it's just a thing to do and it's the time to do it. Once you hit that 30 mark, it's like you must get married. And it's unfortunate because this is one of the most important decisions you're ever going to make in your entire life. And you're making it because of a timeline. To me, that's a little crazy. And I know so many people that are in situations where they got married because their parents made them feel like they should get married. They had a kid or they just felt like they were getting too old. And that is a sad way to live. That's a sad way to spend the rest of your life with somebody or attempt to because, you know, like I said earlier, it's a 50-50% chance that you fail. Marriages are failing because people are doing it for the wrong reason. People are doing it to fulfill societal norms. People are doing it to make themselves feel comfortable about where they are in life. But they're not really doing it for love most of the time. I've been married for a while now and I've been with my lady for a minute. And we're cool. Because I knew right away that's what I wanted to do. I knew that she was the one for me. So there was nobody forcing me. Matter of fact, 
I was I was doing my thing. I was getting girls. I was doing whatever I wanted. And once I met my lady, I was like, oh, I don't want to live like that no more because I just thought she was so special and I would rather invest my time and the rest of my life with her than to be running around with a bunch of different girls. So I made that decision on my own based off of how I felt, but there was no time strengths. There was no like, you know, I have to do this because she wanted to get married. When you actually love somebody, you're going to do things for them, not only for yourself. Most guys don't just wake up and be like, yo, I want to get married. Marriage is usually a woman's priority. This is from years and years of programming through like all these movies and the diamond industry and all these different things that are kind of fabricated that made it seem as if marriage is this thing that solidifies a woman's self-worth. If you kind of understand the basic psychology of most women, it's all about being validated, right? That's why you go to the gym, you'll see girls, beautiful women just half naked. Like you're already beautiful. You don't got to do all that. And sometimes they'll try to justify by saying, oh yeah, you know, it's just because I look cute in it. But really and truly, if you look at just the behavior of women as a whole, not as a whole, but in a lot of cases, a lot of the things that they do is validation. It's just the way they, they carry themselves. It's just for validation and to solidify that they are wanted, which is cool. Some people get offended by that. Some women get offended by that, but that's just the facts. Most women want to be validated and seek validation. That's why the marriage thing is so important because once a guy says that they want to marry a woman and they put a ring on their finger, that's a, a symbol of validation. Hey, he wants me, right? Th that's why the ring is so important to women is because the ring symbolizes that they're wanted. And when they get married, it symbolizes that somebody wanted them. It's a stressor that women usually face. And then it turns into a pressure that men have to adapt to. If men don't, if a man in a relationship doesn't adapt to this pressure, if they don't follow through on what a woman wants, when it comes to the whole marriage ceremony, what ends up happening is there is a long line of dudes <laughs> that are ready to take your spot. You feel what I'm saying? It's almost like a pressure situation for guys where if they don't do it, then she's going to find somebody that's going to marry her. If the guy in the current relationship doesn't do what she wants, basically he's on the clock. And I've seen this happen several times. I've seen girls come out of relationships that they've been in relationships for years. And then a year later, because the guy didn't want to get married, they get married to somebody else. Just like that, right? It's a sticky situation when it comes to marriage because it's a lot of pressure and a lot of societal norms that people try to follow and all these different things and it comes up it turns into a big soup of obligation instead of love i would say to you don't get married unless you're doing it for the right reasons i love my wife i know what it is she knows what it is but i know too many people i know more people in fact that are putting up with unhappy marriages because they felt like that was a thing that they're supposed to do. And it's a challenge. You know, marriage is not easy. Being with somebody, you have to compromise and you have to do things that you might not want to do in order to make the other person happy. And that's all part of the game. But you shouldn't get married to make somebody else happy. That is a ridiculous way to live. And especially us guys, you can't feel like you're on the clock to marry somebody and feel pressured to do it. You know, and I don't think women should feel pressure to do it because of their age. But, you know, that's just my perspective because I don't really care what nobody thinks. And a lot of y'all do. Just remember that this is the most important decision you ever make it for the rest of your life. And if you make the wrong decisions, you're going to have to deal with the repercussions. Choose wisely. And if you absolutely don't feel like you're ready, don't get married. Thank you for watching. I'm coming out of Guyana right now. I'm in Georgetown, Guyana. I had to switch up the spot a little bit. I know you guys are not used to me in this situation. I'm in my, my old man's office. We'll be back to the Jeep sometime next week, but for now, you'll be seeing me in different environments. Anyways, I hope this was useful information for you. 
Oh, and another thing, shout out to Anthony, man. Anthony saw me at the airport and he watched my channel and he came and gave me a shout out and that really made my day. Shout out to you, Anthony. I hope you're having a good time in Columbia. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.